Excuse me, Bill, but it seems to be that there is a ship approaching our vicinity right now. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Independence Wars, Insurgents, also known as Interstellar Wars, and this 2016 film was directed by Marlene McCohen and actually stars her as well. It also stars Brian Lally and Robert Woods, among others, of course. The story of this movie is about this alien invasion, and what they do is they come to Earth and they infect a few people with a zombie virus type of thing, and so they then just kind of let the zombies do their thing to destroy humanity. Of course, the humans fight the zombies as well as fight the aliens in their spaceships. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, with this movie, it is just like a low budget kind of rip off of the Independence Day movies. And so this one, you know, it's not exactly the same. They still have some similar elements like the flying saucers and that type of stuff. But they do have to kind of rely on the ideas that they are presenting. And so they present kind of this zombie idea. I actually kind of liked how the zombie all worked and how, you know, you're infected and how it transmits and that type of stuff. It's actually kind of funny how it, it happens. They kind of infected a bunch of people through alien abductions and then they just like bring them back and the governments of the world were not really kind of concerned about it. They were like, they always bring the people back. So like, why, why should we care that much? And I thought that was really funny. Other than that, they have like the signal type of thing that is pretty fun. And so they do have quite a few kind of strong sci-fi ideas in there if you're willing to, you know, think about them and, and try to understand them. So that definitely worked and, and definitely held my attention at least where, you know, I do enjoy thinking about these things. So at least that was good. In addition, I did enjoy the characters. I liked, you know, following along with them, running around during this alien invasion and that type of stuff and seeing them dealing with the different situations. That was fun. And it's not the best acting, that's for sure, but at least the characters are fun to follow. They have this one kind of pilot guy, and he is looking to get back to the air base so he can jump in a plane and fight the aliens. And so his kind of journey back there works. And then, you know, him fighting and the, all of that stuff, you're definitely rooting for him. They have this one uh, lesbian couple, and one of them is like this big badass, and I absolutely loved her character. Her character design was hilarious. She has like a bra on and a flannel shirt, but she never buttons up the flannel shirts, even though there's like clear buttons, you're just like, all right, I, I guess that's how you want to wear that. And just seeing her running around, she's quite badass, so that definitely worked for me. So yeah, the characters are fun to follow, even if they're not the best acted. Also, I would say this movie is well edited. You know, they have some CGI and all of that's good. It's just like a saucer flying around, but it is edited together with footage of fighter jets and how they do it definitely works. It makes it seem like they're really engaging and interacting and having this sky battle together. And that just, you know, makes it more easy to watch, especially with all of those different parts. And so, yeah, that definitely worked for me. Other than that, this is just a low budget B movie, which I know is not really a problem for this channel, but it does have all those B-movie kind of characteristics that you've come to enjoy. They have lots of, you know, talking in rooms, and it's kind of funny. They have this one room as their headquarters. They have this one scientist come in every so often and talk about what her team is doing downstairs. You never see the downstairs room. You never see the rest of the team, but you just see her every so often. And that's just kind of that B-movie type of stuff where you have a character like that. So all that type of stuff, you know, adds to the fun of it, I would say. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, this film does have quite a bit of talking in rooms, and I know that's like a low budget thing, it's not really a problem, but it does slow down the movie because there is quite a bit of talking. And then they keep on talking and explaining things to each other, so the scenes kind of drag and are longer than they're, they're really supposed to be. And so if you are, you know, looking for an exciting movie, this is not really it. It is much more slower paced. It takes its time with the dialogue and the information it tells you. And so if you are kind of looking for, for something exciting like, you know, Independence Day, then this is probably not going to be it. 
Other than that, sometimes with the line delivery, it can come off as not really genuine or a little bit lackluster. Whether or not, you know, they really believe their situation or understand what they're saying, that type of stuff. And it just kind of seems like sometimes they're just reading the lines rather than acting the lines. And so it is better sometimes than other times. So as it is, generally okay, but you know, it's a mixed bag that way. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think I can really only recommend it to those sci-fi B-movie fans that really don't mind, you know, that slow pace and the low budget type of stuff. And you're just there kind of to see what's happening, to see these aliens and zombies and all that type of stuff. So if that sounds like you, then yeah, check it out if you want. As for rating, well, I thought it was mildly interesting, so I'm going to give it the 3.4. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.